Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And I'm joined today by Steve Crump. How are you doing Steve? Alright pal, you? Nice to see you mate. Good to see you. You're looking well. So are you in that snazzy mill tank? I know, what do you think to me uh, Dennis Sobson, JJ Crump uh, outfit? We've got a track here as well to match. Looking good. Looking the part. Steve, we'll get straight down to business. Why boxing when you're a successful businessman? Are, are you bored at home? I'm a bored at home. <laughs> uh, I best not say yeah, really. I did the <laughs> Mrs. Caesar. Uh, it's just a, a passion that I've always been into. Yeah. I've always loved boxing. I uh, never really gone into a ring and, and wanted to take a punch. To be honest with you, so yeah. this is kind of the closest thing you're ever going to get to it. And is yeah, it, you know, yeah, yeah, and, yeah uh, that's true. Yeah. And obviously our pals with Dennis, and yeah. uh, we just kind of joined up and we both said, right, let's get a good kick and see where we get with it. Yeah. And it's it's just exciting, you know, yeah. and as, as every time we have a show, it just gives you that certain buzz that you just think, oh, this is fantastic. You can't replace it, can you? You can't, it's priceless. That is absolutely priced. Better than any drug, any mm. beer or anything. It's just yeah. mint. And it's nice to see that you're helping young kids and fighters progress as well, like you know. So mm. it's just a great package, mm. just a great package. And we're having a good, we're having good fun, mm. and we're going to different places, and we're going to different, you know, around the world. We and you it's, went to China, didn't you? To IBF convention. We've done yeah. China, we've done Thailand, we've yeah, done doing <laughs> just a few, just, just a, a few. few. Uh, okay. It's like you know. So yeah, we're getting about a little bit, and uh, and we're building some momentum now. And hopefully, people are starting to recognise that that we're doing. We're doing all right. Yeah. All right. Uh, the stable seems to be growing. It does. The the press conferences, weigh-ins, the after parties, everything. Everything seems to be getting a bit more flashier. Getting more polished, isn't more it? More polished, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and obviously, free sports are still on board. They've been with us from the beginning. Obviously, since you've come on board. Yeah. Where do you see the you and Dennis with boxing in next year, or where do you want to be? I think in the next 12 months we're going to have obviously more title fights mm. uh, lined up. We're going to get you know some of those other fighters into title shots, more yeah. meaningful titles for Tommy. Uh, whether we get him to world level next year, we'd yeah. like to, but mm. if not, as close as we can. Mm. Uh, we have got a lot of things in pipeline that I can't, I'm sworn to yeah, say, yeah, I can't yeah, talk yeah. about, yeah. but yeah, this. Everything's moving it right direction, and as a as a brand, Fire Academy is just going to grow and grow next year. Yeah. and it's exciting. I can't wait for it to start. Yeah, uh, Tommy Frank, twelve and zero. He's got the what's what belts has he got now? He's got Commonwealth, Commonwealth, and the WBC, WBC Silver, Silver International. Yeah, he's got he's got another minor belt as well, an English or an area belt. Area, or something. Right, area, right, area I think it one of yeah. Uh, he's undefeated. He's 26 now. He's coming on to his on, into his own. Where do you see Tommy Frank in next 12 months? On the fringe. He, he's already at, in my mind. I think he's already on, on the fringes of world, of world, world title. Level. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, world level. Whether we get a title shot for him next year, we're going to try as hard as for him because I know that's what Tommy wants. Tommy's desperate to uh, to get world title to, yeah. to get that under his belt, and that's that's what every lad. Boxer wants really, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, well, that's right. boxing, isn't it? it to is, win to be the best. Yeah, whether we're getting that, and I don't know, but we're going to try as hard as to. Yeah, you know. Yeah. What do you think about uh, Tommy against Sonny Edwards? Because that's got a lot of momentum. At it's moment, starting to get momentum, and yeah. I think for both fighters, it needs to build a little bit more yeah. and not come too soon. Mm -hmm. You know, they both need to be paid really well out of it, don't they? Yeah. And uh, whether that's back end of next year or year after, who knows? Mm. But I think it's going to happen. I think yeah. it will happen, and I know Tommy won't duck out of it. Yeah. Tom, Tommy's kind of said like, you know, I'm ready, willing, and able kind of thing. But yeah. I think for both of the fighters, financially, they need to make sure it's right for them, and I yeah. might take a little bit more building first. Yeah. Uh, so we've covered Tommy Frank now. Other people in the stable, uh, I know about this because I signed him. Josh Whale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what do you think about Josh Whale? I Since he's come with us and he's, he's undefeated, I, th isn't he? I, th I think he's, unde he's, he's undefeated. Uh, yeah. yeah, and he's he's progressing nicely, isn't he? Yeah, you know, yeah. He's, he's he's growing into featherweight. I can see him being at European 
level next year and probably yeah. You know, moving on from that. Yeah. And yeah. I don't think Josh will duck anybody either. No, and there's well, a few people that. CV suggests that, doesn't it? It does, yeah. I've got a lot of respect for Josh because he's, he's, he's been in trenches, hasn't he? Oh, you know. Uh, he got robbed in France, didn't he? Which he's, he's had six robberies, I think, out of his 11 yeah. defeats. Yeah. His CV, when you look at Josh Wales' CV, in my opinion, and, and I speak to people who, who, who are editors of magazines as well, they say that half of them. Should have been wins, should have been half wins. of them. Yeah, 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 yeah. But getting back to Josh's performance the other night, he went through full repertoire of shots, didn't he? In every round, he did. That was probably better for him than blowing him away, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. He, he he took a shot and he gave shots back, didn't he? Yeah. You know, and, and he proved that he can take him at featherweight. Yeah. And he, yeah. yeah, he had a good he had a good dust up really, mm. and I think he enjoyed it as well. To be mm. honest with you, and it it's just nice seeing him get back into winning ways and yeah. and moving forward again. You yeah. know, and it. You know he's he's still got plenty of, plenty of mileage left in tank because he's lived the proper life, hasn't he? You yeah, know, he's yeah, lived yeah, like yeah, a proper yeah. boxer, so yeah. I can't see him running out of steam just yet. To be honest with you, so yeah, we'll push we'll t push Josh as much as we can for him, and yeah. where, wherever he wants to go, we'll support him. Yeah, you know? yeah, no, that's brilliant. Uh, other people in stable. Kane Salvin, Keenan Wainwright. Where do you see them in twelve months? In twelve months. Uh, I see, I see them both going for titles, probably British uh, or area titles. Mm. I they, they are right at the start of the career, aren't they? Yeah. So it, it is hard to say, but I uh, I think they both will do well. They've both got to keep their feet on ground and keep training hard. And I know Glynn's doing a great job over at uh, his gym and looking after them. And we'll do our job in pushing them as hard as we can and, and as fast as we can if that's what they want. Yeah. But you know, it's in their interest to go at their pace, not not just ours as a hungry yeah. promoter, really, isn't it? Yeah. You know, we've got to make sure that they're right. And it, it is nice to see them start at that at that with me coming in and they're at their starting line to see how far we can go with you. you yeah. Know? I think Kane, uh, Kane did all right at his last fight. Uh, I know Keenan won. Away from it, we're in Leeds, where in Leeds he, he took a fight, yeah, and yeah, he, yeah. he apparently boxed his kids' head off, which is great to yeah. hear. I went at that one, uh, so it'd be good to get them back on our shows again and and see where they can go. And the, yeah, you know, it's, it's early days for a minute, but yeah, hopefully, yeah, aren't they, yeah. yeah they, hopefully, you know, if they get looked after right, they'll they'll, they'll go far enough, yeah. Uh, backing up a little bit to Keenan Wainwright, he can punch like a mule, but. I think he got old man, didn't he, when he lost. He tried to have a turn up instead of boxing, yeah. didn't he? Yeah. And I think that's we experience. It is. But uh, instead of being negative about it, if we can we can try and put positive spin on it, the fact that where well, he's lost his own, he's not bothered now. Because a lot of emphasis seems to be on protecting, protecting the those, don't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you look at your greats, you know, Lennox Lewis and uh, Mike Tyson. They got beat, didn't they? They all got beat, didn't they? But mm. they're still they're still household names, aren't they? Yeah, that, yeah. Um, yeah, I suppose as a professional boxer, it is nice to have that all in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's not the be all and end all. And no, no, I think no. he learnt so much from losing that, to be honest with you. Mm, I think yeah. as soon as he come out of that ring and he realised he'd lost, he'd already learnt a lot. Because mm. he was trying to take his head off. He was trying to kill him, he? Yeah. he was trying to knock him out. Well, when he went to Leeds, I think he realised that sometimes yeah. you just got to win and not in the style that you want to normally yeah, win, yeah. don't you? Yeah. Or in the style that he's been practising in gym. Yeah. But uh, you've got our boxing. Your boxing skills have got to take over. Yeah, you? yeah, yeah. Uh, let me just touch on Kane Salvin because he's a favourite of mine. He don't. He seems to. And Dennis agrees around this. He seems to go on that radar. Yeah. But I think, I think he's really good. Four and now he's only what is he nineteen, twenty year old, isn't he? Baby. Man, isn't he? Yeah. I think he's a very quiet kid, isn't he? He reminds me a little bit of Savannah Marshall. In fact, in that he doesn't say a lot. But when he gets in that ring, he just he I think he's a good fighter, me, yeah. I do, I yeah. do. I think he underestimates himself to be honest yeah, with you. Yeah, I do, yeah. I think it, I think there might be some and mental got a bit issue. Of mindset. Mindset. Yeah. And I think if he gets that right, I think he could be a great fighter. Yeah, yeah, I do. I think yeah. he's got all the skills. Mm -hmm. I suppose it's down to Glenn to make sure that he nourishes them right and they all come out right. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But I I'm a, I am the same thought of you. I, I think he's gonna be a good fighter mm, if, yeah. as long as he's his his head right. Yeah, but yeah. How many fighters have been great fighters and they've lost their head and fell off wagon kind of thing? So he's got to make sure that he does it right. He it? might 
I think, uh, and I don't think Glyn or Kane will uh, mind me saying this because we all we all have a, a we all give our opinion here as a team. But I think that he could might he might need to speak to a sports psychologist or something like that to bring yeah. him out in his shell a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Do you think it's confidence? Yeah, I don't. Yeah, maybe. I, 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 I don't think he realizes how good he is, he is. because yeah, I've seen yeah, him yeah. spar and I'm like, wow. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. on the night, he don't seem to do it as he's still four and out and winning, but I don't think he's. He might be one of them gym champions that might have problems under the lights. So early doors, let's nip it in bud now. Yeah, I yeah. suggest that we get him speaking to that guy Dennis is on about. Right, right. Yeah, there's some guy Dennis knows and I don't yeah. know if it's the same guy Carl Frotch spoke to after Groves were winding him up and right. after, I don't know, but yeah, yeah. maybe it might, maybe that's how boxing's going now, I don't know. Well it started years ago, didn't it? When yeah. Steve Collins were doing it against yeah, yeah. Uh, he spoke Hubank. to somebody, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. He had him in his ring in his corner, I think, yeah, on, yeah, on yeah. one fight, didn't he? Mm. So Paul yeah. McKenna. <laughs> yeah, yeah. start bending spoons and that. Yeah, that kind yeah. Of stuff. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah let's. It, it, it's an option, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's an, an option. option. And yeah. if it helps the lad, then yeah. it's got to be done. Yeah, nice uh, Other people in stable. Uh, Ty Tyrone Nurse, very well skilled. He is. Uh, people are saying his best days are behind him, and that's why he's come to Dennis, and he doesn't sell a ticket. Blah blah. blah. He's he's been with us now. Two fights, two wins. I was going to say it. Let, let him answer that by yeah his by winning getting his and, wins and yeah. he's getting his wins so what a skillful fighter he is yeah, yeah. and uh, it'll be interesting to see how far yeah. we can get him mm. sometimes it's hard to match fighters that are skillful like uh, like Tyrone so you know are people going to start ducking him because he's he's starting to win yeah we, yeah we might struggle with him I don't know I, I think he's another one that's going to be European level quite quick, to be honest with you. Yeah. He's not to me, I, I, he already is. Yeah. He's just getting in them fights, isn't it? Yeah. You know. What do you think about uh, Tyrone against Anthony Tomlinson, Steffi Bull's fighter? Do you think that'd be a good fight? Because he's got a belt now, hasn't he? An yeah. IBO Continental belt. Yeah, yeah. Do yeah. you think that's the option? I think it's an option. And I think Tyrone. Attack think, it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because they sparred. I don't twice. think Tyrone will, uh, will duck away from it. No, he's, he's got the tools in the box for it, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah. You know. The other kid, obviously, he's got a great story. Nice looking kid. Undefeated, is he? Yeah. 11 and 0. Yeah. He knocked 6 or 7 out. He's got like a perfect record on him, more or less, Anthony. Two chef, uh, sorry, two Yorkshire lads going at it. Going at it, yeah. Why not? I mean, that's a good. It is. Is it an headliner? I don't know if it's an headliner. Maybe in Sheffield, it'll maybe I some, don't know. It'll make some uh, headlines in, yeah. in Yorkshire Post and stuff in like Yorkshire that, won't yeah. it? Yeah. You know, in Yorkshire, Yorkshire, Yorkshire newspapers. In Sheffield Star. <laughs> Sheffield Star and what have you, definitely. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I'd love to see Dennis and see if we can yeah. get that one made. What about Sufyan Ahmed? What do you think to him? I think. I think he's got a. I think Fuchs is doing a great job with him, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, he looks better after every fight. He's looked better and better as he's mm. gone on. So, yeah. and he's only at the start of his career. So, let you know. Let's just keep feeding him along and letting him get these wins and what have you. And I think he's 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 going to get a title. Yeah. I'm not quite sure which it'll be. Yeah, but he's going to get to title level, isn't he? Yeah. Don't don't you think? Do you, yeah. I yeah, think he's. Yeah. He seems skillful. He's, right. he's, he's got a good trainer. Yeah, he has. I mean, Fuchs will get the best out of him, so mm. it's worth uh, it's worth it getting pushed on, isn't it? Yeah. What do you think uh, about uh, John Fuchs as a trainer? Do you think a lot of people are saying he's he's not experienced enough to start taking on big to, to take the big fights on, or what? What do you think? Uh, do you I think to be fair, Dominic Ingle said that he's just a pad man and. He, I think he, he's, he's been like fairly experience. judged, to be honest with you. Yeah, yeah. You know, he's do, he's, he's, he's do, he did a great job with, with Kel. Kel said it was the best camp he ever had. Yeah. Didn't he? And then, you know, so whether Dominic's got sour grapes on saying that, mm. I, I don't know. But yeah. oh, you've got to give him respect, Fuchs. He's, he, he's applying his trade, isn't he? Yeah. You yeah. know, and. He's doing well with amateur setup at Dennis's gym, he isn't is he? Definitely. Yeah. yeah, and he's got a great little stable work in there, so. And he's, he's got to give chance, hasn't he? He always strikes me, Fuki, as one of them people. He could maybe go on holiday and say, Fuki, can I just leave this few quid with you? Because, you know, I've not got a safe in house or something. And you won't even need to check envelope when you come no, back. He's one of them nah, sort, he's of, a, he's a good kid. sort of kids, he's like, a, isn't he? He's a great kid, and I think he needs he needs that time and respect to uh, to, to move on in his career. Yeah. 
to be yeah. fair, and any, anybody knocking him, I think it's a little bit harsh at this moment in time. Yeah. Yeah. Let him let him get going first, yeah. and judge him in five years' time. Yeah, and see where you've got. Well, I remember having a chat with Fuki uh, about a year ago, I think, and he was saying we're having to start again because he took Jim over from Ross Birkin show. Hello, Dennis. It's Ross. Uh, he took Jim over from Ross and. He said we're, st we're stripping it back and we're going again, and it's gonna be we're gonna be judged in four or five years. Yeah. And what he's done with amateur setup, I mean, I heard something the other day from somebody from down the uh, Leicestershire way. Well, they were talking about Fuel what he's doing with amateurs and that. He's setting his stall out, a bit like Glen Road did when he yeah. started, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, and exactly. the fruit will be ripe in a few yeah, years, yeah, won't it? It is, you can't, you can't just go at 100 mile an hour, you've got to build your foundations right yeah. and base it from that, and that's what he's doing. Yeah. And people have can't knock him just yet. Knock him in five, ten years' time and see what he's done then, and I bet he's had a few champions come through his door then. Oh, yeah, you know. alright. Uh, moving on from uh, few, the Trafighters Fuki's training, you've signed Cash Alley, you and Dennis. We have. What do you think to... Uh, Cash Alley, 15 and 1, 27 year old, training with Richard Towers. He is. I think he's got a great mentor in Richard. Uh, Richard has really set his stall out for him to adhere to, and fair play to Cash, he's done that. Yeah. Uh, Cash knows that he's got a great opportunity in the platform we've got, and I think it's going to be very, uh, the next 12 to 18 months for Cash is going to be very exciting. Yeah. I, I can see him moving on pretty quick. Uh, he's, he's really coming on it, Jim. And uh, I think he's got a good future with us. Yeah. I really do. You know, and I think with Cash now, he realises that he's got a, a solid team behind him. He never had that before, did he? No. And you know, he's getting he's skipping looked after. training and all that, one he? he can't do that with Rich. Oh, no, no, Rich, Rich to won't wear that. Be on him like a rash, won't he? Yeah, so, and I don't think he's even tried to do it. I think he's, he's come round to uh, the, the mindset of this is my last chance, I, I'm going to mm. take it, and he'd be a fool not to. I've actually, I've actually been up to Rich's gym and I've seen him training. I had a day up there and uh, he, I said, Are you enjoying it, Cash? And he said, I'm waking up. And parts of me are aching that I didn't know you could yeah. ache. Do you yeah. know what I mean? And they were in, I watched Richard. I don't know if Richard's got a bit of OCD going on or what. I don't know, but he squeezed every rep out of him. Yeah. Uh, some of the stuff they were doing, yeah, he's right. He's right into all that advanced stuff because he's. I think he's picked a lot of stuff up from Adam Booth, hasn't he? And uh, things and like. Well, Richard's yeah. had a good background, hasn't he? You know, with oh, Ingalls, Jim, and Adam Brendan Booth. Ingle. It's been all over. Manuel the Stewart. Yeah. So. He's got. Training with Wilder and lot, he? Well, he's trained with Klitschko's, you know, he's yeah. sparred, sparred with everybody, who's mm -hmm. anybody. So, Richard himself, his pedigree, Yeah. even though he might not have been a world champion, he's trained with world champions. I think champions. he won a minor European belt as well, though, didn't he, Richard? I think he, yeah. yeah, I think he did. He won, yeah. won the, there's a European champion and there's the one below it, isn't there? He won it. So, so is, it, is, it, is it that right level? And I think Cash, I think both of them, to be honest with you, are a tonic for each other. Mm. I think Richard's found somebody that wants to be trained. And Cash has found somebody that wants to train him. Yeah. And I think they're working well together. They're a good match. In harmony. And I think whenever you've got harmony or positivity, it works. They like that now, them two. That's it. That's, That's it. good, isn't it? And when they like that, they're both going to put draw best out of each other, aren't mm. they? Yeah. So um, let's see in 12 months, 18 months' time where Cash is. Mm. Could be. Uh, Could it jackpot with him? Well, you never know. You never know, do you? you never you've got to be in it to win it, Steve. You've got to buy that ticket to have a go, ain't you, pal? But other than that, you seem to be enjoying it. It's great. You are a bit like that at first, weren't you? Yeah, well, yeah, I don't know, because I, you know, I was coming into some of that. I don't I don't yeah. like doing stuff I don't know much about. Yeah, yeah, I know. But yeah. I've always said I'm like Dennis's apprentice in this because mm. I'm learning all the time how things happen and what have you done. Yeah. And I'm, but the thing is, I'm enjoying it every day. Mm. Yeah. We're, we're together or we're doing stuff, everything. Yeah, there's enjoyable. a better vibe here now than the one when I first started coming up here. Oh, that's good. Is that because of me? <laughs> Yeah, I've had all that. But, uh, no, I think it, there's always we've always seemed to be fraught with problems and that. Here, yeah, there's always been something going on in the background, but I think we've got a clear run at it now. Well, the thing and everybody's is, on the same page. We want people working with us that want to work with us, and you know, if anybody tries having a pants down, they ain't going to be with us for very long. Oh, there's been none of that. So, so there's been too much of that. Yeah, yeah, and um, nah, it's we're all keeping things everybody's nice doing their little jobs and if they stick to that and stay out of other people's jobs 
we'll all be alright, mate. We'll all... The end result is champions, and obviously we're not we're not going to be mugged off. We want to feel quid in his pocket as well, don't we? Yeah. We're... First and foremost, we want to make sure boxers are alright. Yeah, yeah. You know, because it's them that are going in ring, they've got to be looked after. Yeah. And we want to make sure that, you know, we're making some household names and yeah. we're making some champions out of them. And rewards will come along after that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Your rewards don't come along unless you can If it were easy, in. everybody would be doing it, wouldn't they? Yeah. Yeah. But, but yeah, it's, uh, these are good times and, like I say, you seem to be enjoying it. Uh, moving on to a few other things in boxing. Where do you see boxing in five years as a whole in, in UK, Steve? I don't know because it's quite funny. Uh, I think you sent me a, a link, Ross. Uh, yeah. The pay per view. Oh, yeah, the Sky pay per view. A massive yeah. tumble. Yeah. Can you this see? is why Joshua was going abroad all the time, well, though, isn't it? Because they've seen the numbers coming down. Coming down. Is that going to carry on coming down if people are, if people are fed up chucking their money in mm. uh, to watch a fight? And Well, I think what it is, and I, I study a lot of that. And I see it forms. I get the general vibe from hardcores and from casuals. And there is a casual forum actually, and a lot of them are saying, "We were told that Joshua were going to fight uh, Wilder and all this, and they've yeah. built it up, and then they just don't want to put him in a proper fight. They've milked it that much that I think people are voting with their feet. I think people are fed up with every de half decent fight that's on TV now. You've got to pay twenty quid or twenty five yeah. quid for it. Yeah, you yeah. know, whereas before it just would be like your super elite fights that you yeah. were paying, and people didn't mind for that. Mm. But now it's anybody with half a name or a decent half a decent title having to pay, aren't they? Yeah, you're, that's you know. exactly right. Uh, what I do want to make is me and Dennis had this conversation a long time ago, and I said to him, "What do you think about this pay per view?" And he, and he said, "What do you mean?" And I said, "Well." I always revert this back to Frotch because obviously he's a power man and I studied his career very closely. Frotch Boutte was on a Saturday night non-pay-per-view. Mm -hmm. Boutte was known as the man at the time, yeah. he had about nine, ten defences. And Frotch were coming off at the Super 6 finalist, Ward should have fought Boutte, Frotch stepped in and fought him and whipped him. They said it's not pay-per-view and they said they're still not going to bring pay-per-view back because of Hey Harrison, Audrey Harrison and David A, it were banned in Sky Bandit. They did have it for once for David A against Vladimir, but that were in Germany. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't yeah. in it wasn't in England. So Adam Smith said the criteria has got to be like Dennis said, one of them fights where you say, We just can't miss this, you know, a pay-per-view, we can't miss it. Mm. But now we've got a pay-per-view overload. We've got Nigel Ben against Beaker pay-per-view. What is yeah. that? Yeah. Yeah, every, th every Saturday night now is pay-per-view. Pay-per-view, yeah. Like, whether it's on Sky or BT or whatever, there always seems to be something mm. that you've got to be... And, and to be fair, your working man, really, mm. it, it's it's a lot of money for them sometimes, isn't it? Yeah, of course you know, it When is, they've yeah. got the mortgages and the bills and what have you. Yeah. So let's get back to putting it on a, a decent channel, decent yeah. fights, and yeah, your super fights, pay-per-view. Yeah. yeah, I think it's greed, a lot of it's greed. There's a lot of money slushing around in it, isn't there? And now, like, Saudi's kicked in and they're paying mega bucks. Oh. It's all going to go that way. Yeah, yeah. How long will that last? Yeah. You know, will something happen? And, There's uh, a lot of going on in Saudi Arabia, though, at the moment, isn't there, with their country? And is this just to take the mind off that? Could be. Because when Ali fought Foreman in Rumble in Jungle, they had a lot going on in their country at the time. And yeah. We don't yeah. know, but there's always been them sort of politics fights, behind and it sometimes. Well, look at the the thriller in Manila. Yeah, that were they, they had a lot of politics going on then, and so they put that fight on it. I don't know, but let's we'll just see. hope. Let's just hope that if there's if there is any big fights or the we're involved, we'll keep on doing <laughs> what we're doing, and I'm sure we will be. Somewhat will happen. I'm sure we will be. But uh, all right, well, listen, it's been a pleasure, Steve. Thank Before you. Before we much. go, uh, I'm just going to give you a free plug. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'll give you a free plug. It's, uh, <laughs> your company's called... It's JJ Crump and Son. J and what we do you are, do, Steve? We uh, are an energy efficiency company. So we insulate people's houses and give them energy efficiency measures. Boilers, PV, air source, yeah. all that kind of stuff. Brilliant. And um, that's based in Sheffield, is it, Steve? Yeah? Uh, yeah, well, we've got depots up and down country. So, yeah, anybody wants it, wherever it is, we can do it. Yeah, radiators and boilers and all boilers, that. Boilers, kind of central heating systems, all that yeah. kind of stuff. We put all that in, and like I said, main and most, the most thing is uh, putting insulation around people's houses, making Brilliant. sure that they're insulated. Brilliant. So, if your boiler's gone at home, 
JJ Crump and Cozy Arms, that's the place to be. Alright, thanks so much, Steve. Cheers, pal. Thank you. Thank you.